Welcome back to my channel. If you've got some unfinished projects, now's a good time to grab them, grab a cup of tea, and join along with me, Marie. If you haven't watched my other videos, knit back and check out how we ended up in Australia. For the first day in Australia, I'd only planned to do a half page, as we didn't do that much. We got up pretty early and hit the gym, hoping to get our bodies right onto Australian time. What it mostly did was make us really tired. I decided to cut up our 6x4 card. I've had it for a long time and I like the icon for good eats on there but I didn't think I'd use the whole card. I will keep that lined paper though just in case I do find another use for it. It was AFL's final day so the house was filled with people and we were having a really big party. I really like these quotes, they've got just sort of things like collect moments, not things, and you have positive attitude, and that sticker just seemed really fitting. It says you are never too old to set a new goal, or something along those lines. As we are a bit older than your average traveller, that sticker just really seemed to fit and resonate with me quite heavily, because you aren't too old to ever set a new dream for yourself. So for this one I did end up using a tape runner even though I have stopped using them most of the time but it's because I knew on the back of the other page there was already um, cards stuck down so the tape marking shouldn't go through which is what I found has happened on all the books when I've gone back and looked at them. You can see the tape runner marks through the back of the other page which is why I've started using print stick more often or glue sticks. I have been trying to make more use of my stamps. I've been using my grey stamping pad more often than not because it doesn't bleed through the paper like some of the stays on inks that I do have. For AFL's final, Adelaide was playing Richmond. We know nothing about Aussie football but it was still a really good party and a good atmosphere. We got to meet a lot of new people. What was super impressive was amongst all the cheering and the screaming at the TV, Sai managed to fall asleep, bolt upright in his seat. He must have been shattered. Although we had a seat free between us on the plane, he pretty much let me use it to sleep the entire way. When Sai did finally wake up, he was put on snaggers duty, so that's sausages for all of us Brits. He wasn't a natural at the barbecue, but at least he really tried and everybody seemed to enjoy the fruits of his labour. I found this page really easy to put together and since it's only a half page I'm probably going to go on and do another page in this episode. Good morning, it is, well it's not morning anymore, it's 12 o'clock. Jet lag hit us quite hard last night and we had a really long lay in but today we are heading to the Perth Mint which is East Perth? It's all in East Perth. East Perth. So we're heading to the Perth Mint right now and we're just waiting for the yellow cat bus to take us there. As you can see, the next day we decided to head to Perth Mint. I'd been there when I was young and I was keen for Sai to see what it was like. I remember when we were younger we did have a chance to lift a gold bar, but they didn't have that there this time. I just thought for a bit of a change I would do a little drawing of my sunglasses from that day. I picked the little circle stamp just because it reminded me of coins. I wish I'd had handy some gold embossing powder because I think that would have been a really good effect on this page for the gold coins that we were seeing. But I don't have any. And silver just didn't seem like the right choice. Before heading to the mint we did stop off for a little food so I'm just using my eating stamp and writing that we headed to Bellagino, which although it was amazing, sad to say, I don't think it's there anymore. So if you're heading to Perth, I'm sorry to say, you will not be able to get the yummy food that we had there. So just going through some cards there, some of these I picked up while I was in Australia from the reject shop. I was such a big fan of the reject shop. You could get such great designed items there and they were so cheap. 
I miss being able to shop at the reject shop. Reject shop, if you're listening, hook me up or, I don't know, figure out a way of doing delivery in the UK because I miss shopping there. They didn't have huge amounts when you'd go there, but they had a pretty much constant supply of of stamps and Project Life cards, so I really liked it. I'm sorry if my voice is cracking a little bit, but I've had a cough now for about two weeks, and obviously because COVID is everywhere at the moment, I'm being super safe and haven't left my house just in case while I wait for my test results to come back. But that does mean a lot of crafting time, so we're doing a lot of good catch-up. I wasn't that keen on the drawing as it came out. I don't often use coloured pencils, and I bought some new from WH Smith since we've been back, but I was not impressed with the quality of them. The colour was quite dull on them, and they were really, really hard to blend together. They were actually quite a waxy texture. We got to weigh ourselves at the Perth Mint and find out how much we would be worth if we were made completely out of gold. We got to watch a gold pour, which was amazing. And we just had a really lovely day kind of finding our way around Perth and just getting to know where we'd be staying for a while. We have decided to nip into a cafe for some breakfast slash lunch. Yes, we were that late getting up. The bar we're stopped in is called the Cafe. Bella Gina. Bella Gina. So we'll check out if the food's good. I am having lamb and lentil soup, and Sai is having chicken and brie sandwich. This is the soup of lamb and lentil, and Sai has a brie and spinach sandwich. So, oh yeah, chicken. But yeah. Looks so good. We made it to the mint. Right here, inside the background, so we'll go in and take a look. that's all from me today if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and watch out for my next video where we headed to king's park there we have it one six kilo 200 troy ounce piece of fine australian gold a little bit more concerned now if you jump the fence and grab it off